Hi there. In this Microsoft Word video, we'll take a look at how we can create a very common document type using templates that are provided to us via Microsoft Word. So I'm going to open up Microsoft Word and I'm going to choose New. And when I choose New, I get a whole choice of templates. So you can create a restaurant brochure. So this brochure is there. Uh, there's a little appointment calendar, report. I'll use the um, this uh, blue green blue gray resume. Most people will have to create a resume at least once in their life, so this is a common one. Uh, but there's uh, no shortage of document types available. For some reason, my resume assistant isn't working, but that's okay. Uh, now, basically, it's very simple to add your content to these templates. So you notice that they actually, in a lot of these templates, especially the ones that are provided to us by Microsoft, some of those templates available are third party, but they always have a little write-up of how you should change this content and what sort of content you want to put there. So. They let you know it's okay to brag here and then exactly what you should uh, list for your experience. So first of all, I'll quickly change my picture so it tells you how to right here. So if you just right click right on the picture and you choose fill and then you just choose your picture to fill it with. And I'm going to go from file, that's uh, a local file that's saved on my computer and I'll just pick up picture that I have here of myself. Then uh, working down the page left to right I'm just gonna click in that so notice that the whole thing became selected when I typed so this is a content control so if you just start typing it repeats uh, replaces all of the content there so I'm gonna say um, Customer service representative. With 30 years of scholastic experience or some such thing. Basically you want to uh, look at the job that's being offered and basically mirror everything they're asking for. And then you add your phone number and your website and your email and your hobbies. And then uh, you'll notice in your education it tells you exactly what type of content to put in there as well. So I'll say uh, and of course make sure you drag sorry brag about your education. Uh, now, I notice for work experience here it says uh, describe your responsibilities and achievements in terms of impact and results. So uh, but that's um, a good way of describing your experience, basically features and benefits. Um, I did this to achieve this. So I'll say uh, utilized customer service skills to grow class size or something. 
something like that and maximize profit. Uh, down here at the bottom of this particular document, you'll see that we have a little uh, chart. So if you want to edit the content of this, you can right click on it and then choose edit data and it opens up a little Excel spreadsheet. So this is, if you're an excellent teacher, use a type decimal 8 or something like that. So that's a measure of how good you are at each skill. You can really think of it anyway, but notice it actually gets cut off here. You can't read the whole word, so if you click on, you have to kind of click around until, there we go. So I clicked in this white area. And that selected the plot area, which is specific to the actual chart. So if I make that a little narrower there, and then drag it over, you see I have more room for the text. So you can read everything. So that's just a little detail there of that particular resume. So uh, basically, um, the point of all of this is that we already had a pre-formatted document with little hints about what the content should be in the document. We don't have to worry about getting the appearance right. All we have to enter is the content. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And I'll put it in uh, And I'll just call it resume. And save. That's working with a template um, in a nutshell. Thanks so much for watching.